Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoovalux. Welcome, bienvenido, grosui, salam alaikum. Welcome to my channel, Chesh Yakshimash, and good day, y'all. So today in front of me, I have a box. We have a household appliance that broke last week. So we had to replace it, and I've been quite itching to get one of these. Now you saw from the picture that I had on top of it a loaf of Warburton's bread and two packs of Warburton's Giant Crumpets. So it's very easy to say this is a toaster. This is a... is it a Breville? I can't remember the brand of it, but it's a Warburton's toaster. Now I got Hubby Lux on the camera, hello. Hello. <laughs> so he's joining in because it's foodies. So when there's foodies involved, he's always involved. Anyway, yeah, let me solid. put the toast, let me put the toast, the bread, sorry and the crumpets to one side and let's get into this because I can't remember the brand of it. Yeah, it is Breville. So let me take out the outer packaging. And just gonna pop the packaging to one side. And here we go, we have the Breville four slice toaster, the perfect fit for Warburton's, perfect fit for Warburton's toasty bread, which is what I've got there. So this is the box that it's come in. It's a nice silvery color, new. Uh, toast to the, the toast to the top, so it's a taller one. It's got variable width and it's got a lift and, or lift and look feature, whatever that is, lift and look. Oh, okay, yeah, so you pull it up a little bit further, we'll, I, I, I think I know what that means, is when the toast is done, you can actually then use the knob to push up a bit further to actually lift the toaster out, uh, lift the toast out a bit further for you to grab hold of. So, we have got here, toast to the top, perfect fit for Warburton's bread, extra high lift when toasting bagels or crumpets, ah, oh, that's a good idea. Lift and look, so you can check your toast mid-cycle. All oh, right, so you can lift it up to in the mid-cycle. Ah, all right, okay, I get it. Variable width for even toasting, which is very good for me because sometimes I like to slice my own bread. There's one more setting. What's that? The bend and snap. Bend and snap setting. <laughs> it doesn't have the bend and snap setting. Right, okay, so let's open the box. Let's see what we've got. Oh, look at that, it looks so nice. Poached egg and toast with mushrooms. Mmm, poached Vegemite. egg. Mm. So here we go, we've got the instructions, the four slice toaster, read product safe, read carefully and keep for future reference. Bread slots, blah, 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 blah. Browning control, blah, blah, blah. Uh, addendum, what's that? Addendum. Addendum to Bravel. Four slice toaster. The video toaster has been optimized for four slice toasting. If you're you are toasting one, two, or three slices of bread, you may need to adjust the setting to deliver your preferred browning level. Okay. So inside the box, let's take it out. Oh. Gosh, that is hard to get out of the box. It's in tight. There we go. Release the Kraken. God, it's huge. Let's take off that side. The plug. Whoops. Take off that. Actually, no, it's not that bad. What was the one we had before? I can't remember the brand of the one we had before. It was really expensive, but it lasted us, what? Six years? Yeah. So it did a fair job, it did a fair good run. Just take the packaging off the lead and the little metal... What do you call this? Tag. Tag. And the cover off the plug. 
underneath. What does it say here? Important. The bread carriage will not stay down unless the toaster is connected to the main supply. Do not leave this toaster unattended when in use. Remove this label before using the toaster. Right, okay, so I've read it. And I've removed the little label. Let's take a look at the front. It's very shiny. That's going to be a bugger to keep clean. Uh, toast to the top, Warburton's Toasty Bread. I think that stays on there. So we've got a dial here for the toasting level. Defrost. Stop. What does that mean? Oh, let's have a look at the instructions and see what that means. Uh, blah, blah. Okay, so that one is number five in the instructions, which is reheat button. All right, okay, so you want to reheat your bread. Frozen bread button and cancel button. And then that in is the browning control. There is a crumb tray at the rear. <coughs> Oh, just like the other one, these little trays, they come out to get rid of your crumbs. They fit in nice. It's not too heavy at all. It's quite light, to be honest, and you can see on the inside. Two slices down and controllable for thickness, which is quite nice. So you can have quite thick bread if you prefer. So, yep, I'm very pleased with that. Let's plug it in. Switch it on. Now, if I have a look at the front, we've got the browning control. So that is a little dial. That is up to six. That is down to minimum. So we'll put it on three and a half to start with. Now, the first thing I'm going to do before I do start cooking with this or making toast and and the crumpets is, I'm going to switch it on. Now it says here, you can lift this up in mid-cycle. So if you look at the top, whilst it's on, as you can see it's on, is you lift it up like this and you can check the toast without canceling the cycle. So that's really clever. And you can do that on both sides. So I'm going to let it run for its first cycle because, just to get rid of the smell, it always has that first use kind of like plasticky smell. So I'm just going to let it go through its first cycle and then we'll give it a go. So I have got a new pack of Warburton's Toasty Bread. Now I did find, we did find with the other one that it did have difficulty doing the top of this bread because uh, the bread is, is really quite tall. So I'm going to take out four slices, pop it into the toaster and drop it down. So I've moved the dial down to three just to see how it goes. Now the only the one thing I do notice it doesn't have is a bagel feature. Now the other uh, the other toaster we had did have a bagel feature so that you could toast just one side. Um and unfortunately this one doesn't have it. You can only toast only in bagels on that. Only in bagels. So if you want to check the toast you can just lift it up to check it and then drop it back down back to be toasted. So that is that's a good feature. I like that. So we just go in to see how long it takes to make some toast. What do you put in the toaster? Bread. Oosh, clever clogs. Majority of people will say toast. The stupid ones like me. Well, I thought it was a salad spinner. No, it's definitely not a salad spinner. <sighs> I'm starving. I could really, really just sometimes you just fancy just a nice piece of toast with some real butter there real salty butter and strawberry conserve yum 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 yum
So I hope everyone's having a nice evening. Probably making toast, maybe, I don't know. Right, so I'll come back to you now once this is done. Okay, so I've just been checking the toast and it's at my, the way I like it. So you can actually lift this up a bit higher. It does come up a lot higher than the other toaster did. Mm. So let's take out the toast. Ow, ow, ow. Let's put a little bit of butter. Do you remember when we were in Denny's? When we were in Buffalo? And we went to Denny's for breakfast and I wanted some extra butter. So the waitress came over and I said to her, uh, please can I have some butter? And she said, what honey? And I said, can I have some butter? And she just looked at me like she just, I was on a different planet. So then I just automatically said, butter! And she knew exactly what I was on about. And I got some butter. Right. Probably most of you are going, oh, no wonder he's so fat. Look at the size, look at the slashings of butter he puts on it. Oh well. Now we're going to put on some strawberry jam. Mmm, look at that. One. Two. Three and four. Right, so the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Mmm, let's see how it is. Mmm. As toast goes, that's very nice. So, I'm going to finish off my toast and happy lux and then we will try some crumpets so that worked really well with the toasty bread the one thing i did notice was that i did have to cut it short it's on three i'm going to move it down to two and just to see how it does on that um but yeah it was nice and easy to get the toast out it was really good that i could test the toast by looking at it without actually stopping it and making it jump up. So all in all, yep, I really like that. So the next thing we're gonna try with it are crumpets. I have here some giant crumpets from Warburton's. I do love these crumpets. So I shall put two on that side. on that side I have set it to number two on the temperature let's give it a go and again then you can test it oh, hang on. Right, having a look. right so I will leave the crumpets and let's see what happens okay so it's just stopped um, but the, it hasn't actually popped up they kind of like stayed, that one stayed in the position, so it hasn't popped right up, but I'm going to do, ow, just a minute or so more, because I do like my crumpets well done. We did notice that we were watching the energy consumption of it on the uh, energy meter, and it, uh, with both of them on, it was using, what was it? 2.3 kilowatts. 2.3 kilowatts, approximately, um, to operate the toaster on four slices. So once this is done, I will come back to you. Now I've done, if I press the stop button, see they don't go all the way up, but they're done. The one thing we have noticed as well is that the this part of it is quite cool, but this part here is quite cool as well, but this part at the top is very, very hot. So this is not, I would say, a cool touch toaster as in the other one we had. It was, yeah, that does, it's got the heat signal there. So this part at the top does get very hot, but the other one didn't because it was, it didn't get that hot, did it? It was, it was better insulated. 
Okay, anyway, so those are the crumpets done. Let's take them out. I have my trusty toast tongs here. Should take them out. And again, avert your eyes for lashings of butter. Who wants dry crumpets? Not me. <laughs> but people are watching this now, the amount of butter, and they're going, Oh my god, that's disgusting, there's too much butter. Oh well. I is kind. I is smart. I is important. So let me put some jam on it. Just add a bit more. And let's put some jam on hubbies. I can only eat half of one. There we go. So, again, the proof of the pudding is in the tasting. So I'm just going to cut myself a little piece. Let's try it. Mmm. 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 That's nice. So we're going to eat our crumpets and we'll come back and we'll finish off the video. Okay, so we've eaten our toast. We're absolutely stuffed. I'm just going to give this a quick wipe over. It's nice and easy to wipe clean. I suppose after a couple of uses you could use a damp cloth just to go over it and polish it. I'm not a particular fan of shiny um, stainless steel because it does go dull and it does need shining. But This is an all metal toaster. Very, very good. Cooks the Warburton's bread perfectly. Fits into it. Toast right up to the top. Don't have to switch it around at all. Very, very good. So yes, I can recommend this toaster, um, but I would make you aware of the fact that it does get hot. So if you do have little ones, I would definitely make sure that they're out of the way of this once it's, once it's on, because there are other toasters, the one we had before, which is cool touch, and it really, really is cool touch, unless you put your hands at the top, and it's quite, it was quite hard to get in because it was kind of chunky. So this one um, does get very, very hot at the top, but I love the fact that you can lift up the toast. You don't have to keep, you know, don't have to put your fingers in or whatever. I love the fact that you could check the toast whilst it's still on and drop it back down. I like that feature on it. The one thing I do wish it did have is the bagel function so you could toast just one side because I particularly, I love bagels but I don't like them cooked on both sides, if you know what I mean. I just like them toasted on the one side. So there we go, I hope you've enjoyed that. That was just a quick, brief unboxing and demo of the Breville toaster suitable for Warburton's bread. I hope you've enjoyed, it was a very tasty demonstration and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye y'all. Bye.